Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another town update, and you can probably guess what this update is going to be about by the vehicle. This is something you guys have wanted to see for a long time, ever since we built the police station and fire station, and I've started a fairly big project here. Now I'm not ignoring the other projects, I know you guys want to see a airport, a construction site here in the center and some sort of ranger station. You can kind of see the tower. That was actually from quite a few episodes ago. I haven't actually gone up there and done anything with that yet. But yeah, let's go ahead and drive over. Now, last three episodes about the town have been about the school. It was a huge project. I'm really happy with the way that came out. If you guys haven't seen those episodes, I'll link them in the description. But yeah, here it is on the right side. Now, this building I'm currently working on is not done. This is going to be a probably just a two-part. I feel like I can get some time this weekend to finish it, but it turned out to be a little bit of a bigger project than I thought it was going to be. Uh, you can definitely see. Here it is up here. This is a hospital. Uh, it's something you guys really, really wanted to see. And like I said, it, it just turned out a lot bigger than I thought it was going to, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, obviously, it's really detailed. I love the way the outside came out, and I look forward to working on it some more. But let's go ahead and go over the vehicle first before we jump inside the hospital itself. Uh, vehicles and ambulance. This is something I've built before. The episode doesn't have that many views on it, but it's somewhat similar in design. I haven't changed too many things up. Spider web's not complicated at all. Uh, let me go under it here. I'm using the normal suspension setup, three in the front. I'm using just one in the back and it seems to support it just fine, so that's all good to go. Uh, not a crazy spider web. There's some buttons in here, everything you can interact with. Just needed to have a vehicle to go along with this. I know it wouldn't be right for me to have a hospital without an ambulance here, so anyways, let's go ahead and give you a view of the whole thing here. Now I will put this map up for download, so if you want to try these out. Uh, everything will be in here. It, of course, it's not going to be finished, but I'll go ahead. Even if I'm not done with the project, I'll go ahead and release the download. That way, if you guys want to go check it out. But anyways, let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Doors open, the roof opens, and the hood opens. Now, if you want to get in the back, uh, you're going to need to go either to the side door or the back doors here. Open those up. Quite a bit of detail on the inside. I was really happy with the way this one came out. In the front, you can kind of see all the buttons on the dash. I've got the radio up there, controllers. Now, I don't have any glass in this vehicle. Uh, the glass is really awkward to use if you're using the square pieces here. You can put them on a bearing, like right here, and try to tilt it back, but it leaves an odd gap. And then the glass that the game comes with is really, it's just not great. Uh, the little, I think I've used it like once. I had that medical cart for the school, and that's the only, only thing I think I've ever used that glass on so until we can get some sort of shaped glass it's gonna have to be bare like this but anyways let's go ahead and jump up in the back now the backs really detailed really happy with the way it came out uh, the only thing I don't have in which I need some small wheels I need a stretcher I'd love to be able to roll something up in here but the game like the smallest wheel is the whatever is it here it's this one and it's a little too big for a stretcher like it might yeah that's gonna be too tall because you're gonna have a bed setting on top of that so that's not gonna work at all but yeah I'd like to have some sort of stretcher I could put in here but you've got some areas where you can have storage when I'm kind of stuck on the rails here you got storage areas you just got a bunch of little machines in here a little place where you can wash your hands uh, some places where you can set up on uh, really detailed I like the uh, these rails here actually to guide the stretcher in now a lot of these ambulances have a side door here too so I added that and just got some lights just all little details I, I couldn't like name off what everything does in here it's just I was looking at some pictures on Google of the inside of different ambulances and this is kind of what I came up with now for lights I always use the tile block and I just color them since scrap mechanic only has this light here and it's not great for like using different like you can't use different colors on it you can only color the housing. So all the colors I have, I just paint the uh, tiles here. 
which they actually look pretty good in my opinion but yeah one thing that you can do with this and this hospital looks a little bit weird uh, the really the front side is aimed towards the back and the back is I don't know it's kind of turned around I'll, I'll show you how it works I kind of I thought of like all the possibilities here so say you have an emergency you're in the ambulance and you've got to rush a patient which I don't have all this concrete area finished out here I'd like to add a small parking lot but yeah there's three entrances here there's one on the right there's the one we're trying I'm trying to get up this and maybe I should have made this ramp a little bit wider this is a <laughs> this is kind of bad okay let's see nope Yeah, this this turn was a lot easier to make whenever I had uh, I didn't have the railings on there, but yeah, kind of need to turn here, and this is where you would drop off the patients. Uh, a little bit of a tight area. I might extend this out just a little bit. Ever since I added some of the uh, plants here, it's kind of limited the uh, amount of area you have up here for the ambulance. But yeah, you can unload in here and rush straight into the uh, emergency room. Now here, I would like to have sliding doors like double sliding doors I kind of left some area here where I can have that mechanism to pull them back so I plan on installing those here this is just one of the lobby areas this would be one of the main lobbies you've got the reception desk here a couple of security cameras these are similar to the ones that were in the bank really like the way this came out I love the look of it the lights actually look good on the inside so if I found a use for them they're right here uh, you got some uh, like a waiting area I thought about just putting benches in here but I wanted to try out the seats like a lot of times in waiting areas you see these individual seats so that's why those are all in here I didn't want to just do like a straight bench across but yeah the only way to get into the actual like ER and the doctors all the all the areas beyond this you actually have to be behind the desk to activate it there's like security doors here so you've got each of these and these will open those up now I'm going to have a door here that only staff members are supposed to be in so you can get behind the uh, counter. But yeah, back here, this is where it's kind of empty. Like I did the interior, I did all the walls and everything's basically done. It just needs to be filled out in here. Uh, this is the, this is another entrance. I'm going to need to have some sort of security gate here. Uh, you can enter in the hospital. So you've got this one here and there's another one around the corner. I'll show you guys that here in a second. But yeah, I need to add some sort of security to this side since, I mean, that's kind of what hospitals are like now. Uh, you can't just freely walk into one and walk into the back parts where all the rooms are. So do that. I've got a lot of empty rooms right now. Uh, all, pretty much all of these are empty. But I've got plans for everything. And I want to hear some suggestions of what type of rooms you'd like to see. I know we're going to need like an x-ray room, uh, some sort of surgical rooms. Just stuff like that. Now, patient rooms are over here. I've got four of them. Uh, I've only got one of them set up because I'm kind of experimenting and seeing like what I want to put in them. So these will be the four patient rooms. These will be for uh, single beds because I need to put a bathroom here. And I've got the patient rooms that will have the uh, two beds. So that'll be the ones on this side. Now, one of them is almost done here. So let me go ahead and show you this. This is kind of what they look like on the inside. You get the two beds here. I wanted to have some sort of curtain. I know they had this little system up here where you can drag the curtain out and get privacy, but I don't know what to use as the curtain. Like, I've got the railing up here, but I just can't figure out what I want to use, if I want to use anything. I'm not really sure yet. But yeah, pretty detailed on the inside. Got a little chair to set in, a couple TVs, a little area where the nurses can work. Uh, let's see, you've got a bathroom in here. Go ahead and open. Maybe that door needs to go the other way. I'm not sure. Yeah, get a little bathroom area. I'm going to have one in each room, basically. I, I want to try to make it as detailed as possible, so you'll see little stuff like this. And this just takes time. Uh, all this does, I've still got three more rooms, and that's just for patient rooms. And then I need to worry about the uh, rest of the hospital here. I don't have that much more to go, to be honest with you. Like, I just... I just need a little bit of time to work on it, and hopefully I'll get that time this weekend. But yeah, here's the other entrance I was talking about. Now, I guess I have to go at it from this way. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. This is going to be an elevator. You know, I thought about it. Of course, you're in a hospital. People are going to be in wheelchairs. They're not going to be able to climb up the stairs over here. 
Now there's the ramp in the front that they would be able to go up, but I also wanted to have an elevator. So this actually goes down to the ground level here. And there's the outside. So I would like to have some sort of sliding doors here and maybe here and have an elevator that we take that would take you up to this floor. Now, let me go ahead, I guess I can close it from inside here. This is the like security checkpoint for the elevator, so you can't actually walk into the main area. Uh, somebody would be back here. Go ahead and close the doors here. So they would come in, check in here, and then you've got the side door. And I'm, I actually control that middle door from here, so just click that and that door opens. Uh, you've got security cameras, or security monitors. I've got, I'm gonna put some more cameras out all through the uh, hospital. I've got all the controllers here actually to fill that one area in. But these controllers don't control everything. I've still got some spread out throughout the building because there's gonna be so many doors in this thing that it's it's just crazy. Oops, I need to keep that open. But yeah, I need to figure out how, to, how I wanna do this elevator. Uh, I could do a simple, you know, up and down, just go to this floor. I talked with a buddy and we talked about maybe adding a third. I didn't want to add like a complete like second floor to the top of this. I thought about adding maybe, I'm pretty sure this is going to come up in the comments anyways, like a helipad up there and maybe have this elevator extended up one more floor and have the helipad on the roof. I think that would be kind of cool. I just got to figure out, I know there's ways to do like a selector where you can pick which floor you want to go to on the elevator. I just got to figure out how to do that. And hopefully I've got enough area in here, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I, like I said, I got the exterior done. That took a long time, but the interior is just going to take as long, but I feel like I can get it done in one more episode. So I'm going to get some quality time with it this weekend. I'm not going to have another town update tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow uh, I've been backed up on viewer creation, so it's going to be another one of those. And then we'll go back around to a town update, hopefully by, I want to say Monday, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday, depending on how much I can get done here. But did I, let me go ahead and go up on the roof real quick. I guess I can go ahead and show you what I'm talking about with the helipad. Now, ignore all the different colors. Uh, need to just completely color the roof here. Uh, what happened while you're seeing all these little dark streaks? Originally, the roof was... Uh, dark it was this color and it was that way on the inside too but then i realized like a lot of hospitals are actually white like even all the walls are white which mine aren't but the floors the ceiling and all that are all white so i, I had to add some of that back in because it, the ceiling was actually the same color as the wall so got that all colored back and i think it looks good on the inside but i'd have to go up here and touch this up but I'm saying maybe about right here or on the other side, we could fit a small helipad and maybe get a rescue chopper in. Uh, maybe I'll make kind of a universal one that would work at the ranger station and all that. But anyways, that's going to about wrap it up, though. I've, I'm going to get back to work on this. It's actually getting a little late here. I might be able to put about another 30 minutes into this, and then I need to go to bed. So I'm going to continue working on this a little bit tonight, and then I think Sunday I can work on it quite a bit. So there will be another town update Monday, if not Monday, then Tuesday. But tomorrow is going to be another viewer creation, so you get another scrap mechanic episode. And Sunday is going to probably be something random. I've got some steam keys I'm going to check out. I might bring something old back. Not 100% sure. I'll see what I have time for. It's going to be kind of a busy weekend, so... Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. I'm so happy you guys have been enjoying this series. I look forward to doing more of these town updates. Now, I do have a couple other things planned as far as in Scrap Mechanic. I don't really, really want to talk about it too much right now because they're still in the planning stages. But yeah, hope you enjoy the video and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.